Hey everybody, welcome to another YouTube video. Uh, today I'm going to be helping you guys with your think or swim layout. I'm going to get you guys all the indicators that I use on a daily basis to help me bank in the stock market. So let's go ahead and get it started. You'll see here we have everything already set just like you see on the streams on Twitch. You can basically just click on the ticker and it'll take you to it just like this. There's a lot of information behind it we have to go through to get you here. So let's start from scratch and uh, get you guys set. First, we're going to reset the workspace to default. Okay. So this is what you're going to see whenever you're starting out on TOS, looking for a new layout. And we're just going to work through this. There's a lot of information here. So let's just start by minimizing this account info. You don't need that. Live news, delete gadget. Trader TV, delete and the quick chart you do not need this so now you have the watch list over here that's fantastic we're gonna change this number to number one we'll explain more later next we can go over to the cog symbol go to customize we're going to take out net change remove this we are going to add percentage change instead and then we're gonna drag that up right under last beautiful next we're gonna look for percentage mark change and then you just double click it and it'll add the item to the right side that'll you'll need that for pre-market so now you should have everything pretty set you have the last price it was you have the percentage gain on the day the bid the ask and you'll have mark percentage which is basically the same information just uh, pre-market or after hours um, and then you can sort by just clicking on them Maybe you want to know the top gainer in after hours, and then you can do it that way. Up next, we're going to work on the right side over here. We want to go to charts, and then you're going to see SOS is the one I'm working on today. There is no lines, no um, technicals whatsoever that we're using, so let's go ahead and, and give you guys that information. First, we're going to go up here to the top right. We're going to click Setup, and we're going to go to the Application Settings. We want to go down to System. And make sure you have the quote speed at real time, no delay. Very important. Up next, we're going to have a um, no, look and fill. We want all this to be checked this way, okay? So maybe yours isn't the exact same way. Make sure it matches. And then you want to hit apply settings. Next, we're going to go into looking for... Um, our studies that we'll be using on this chart. So we're gonna come up here. We don't have anything. So we need to actually upload some of the trend lines that we use here. So we'll go back to setup. We wanna to go to open shared items. And then I will give you guys the links to every single piece in the description below. And you guys can use this information um, to just go ahead and insert these. So here's the first link. This will be the auto trend line that I use. So we'll just put that in this area. We're going to do um, preview. Should come up, say RCB auto trend line, and then we're going to import it. You should see a name here, It'll probably just say auto trend line or RCB trend line. It won't have that number one because it'll be the first time you've uploaded it. You want to import that. You're going to say it's already uploaded, whatever. You're just going to say okay if you already do have it, but most of you won't. And then we're going to do the same thing over again. Open shared item. We'll go to the next link here in the description below. This will be for the SMAs. We're going to preview it. It says SMAs. Fantastic. Import that also. Make sure it's good. Okay. And then thirdly, there's one more. Open shared item. Get the link. And then you want to copy that link and put it in this one. Import. Awesome. Okay. After that, you're going to go over to Studies and click on Edit Studies where we were before. You're going to actually search these by clicking this top left bar. Find your SMAs. Double click those. Double left click. Get your enhanced volume. Get your auto trend line. So you should have three items here. And it should match just like this. There is one thing you're missing. 
and that's going to be the VWAP. So we're going to actually type that in also over here to the left, double click it. And then one thing we're going to have to do is change some information here. So you're going to click on the cog symbol and you're going to change the style to a dashed line long with a width of two. And then we want to do it in white. One more thing we're going to have to do is go to upper band and we want to take off each check mark for showing the plots, the bubbles, the titles. We don't need any of this information on the upper or the lower band. And then after that, we're going to hit apply. So your chart should look a lot like this now. You're going to have some auto trend lines, where, which are these uh, dashed lines. You should have the SMAs. And if we look closer, we can definitely see that there's probably a VWAP that's a long dashed line like so. We are still not finished yet. As you can tell here, we just loaded the chart. It doesn't like it doesn't take up any of the screen. It's just kind of ugly. So we're going to fix that. Let's go over to chart settings. And then we're going to go to price access. And we're going to unclick fit studies. But we're going to click on uh, check mark fit high low and then leave fit study markers checked. Okay, we can apply that. Let's check out time access. We're gonna unclick options over to the right and we're gonna expand the area to 100 bars. And then we're gonna click apply. Let's see, is there anything else we need to change? Oh yeah, we do. Uh, we're going to go over to appearance. We're going to fill up these candles, make them full instead of hollow. And then I just actually have my settings on color as symbol ticks on the bottom. Not sure why. It just is that way. So I'm just going to give you my exact settings. And then we're going to click apply. Equities, options, futures, all the way on these other tabs. I don't think you have anything to worry about. We're just going to click OK. And we should be pretty much set. That should help you guys get started on Thinkorswim. Uh, that way you are, you know, you're ready. You kind of have the same settings I do. And you can start learning how to use these SMAs. And that's something we can do in future videos. So thank you guys all so much for checking this out. If you guys aren't already seeing us on Twitch.tv, please come check us out. Uh, you can just search Rocket Catching Bob. Also, if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you on the next one.